Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Uh-huh. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. Therefore, Therefore shalt thou, thou serve, serve thine, thine enemy. enemy. Whether you know it or not, bro, that's our enemy in there that run that station. They run these gas stations. We might be at the cash register. We don't own it. But we run it. We ain't they run it. Read that again. Therefore. Uh, the, book, yeah. the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Uh-huh. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy, uh-huh. which the Lord shall sin against thee. That the, the Lord, Lord shall sin against thee. The Lord sin against us. Go ahead. In hunger. In what? In, in hunger. hunger. They own these grocery stores. These restaurants that we go to. We gotta go to them in hunger. Go ahead. And in thirst. In thirst. We still gotta go to them for water. <laughs> even for a power bill. Even for the water that falls from the sky every week. We still gotta go to them. It's a lake around here, a pond down there. We still gotta go to them. We pull up on they lake or they pond. But they ain't even at it, and they catch you a fish, and they can roll up on them and see you fishing like it. You know, we got to get their permission to do everything. That's mm. right. Go ahead. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. Even for our sisters to put on them with you, attire that they be wearing, that they advertise to them on these signs and in these stores, still got to go to our enemies to get these things. Just like he was saying, we shouldn't have to go to them for cocoa bread, lotions, soap. So we got to go to our enemies and want to all in. <coughs> so they're going to show that. Go ahead. And in want of all things. Sis, did you know that we got to go to our enemies and want of all things? Listen to what the Lord say. Bring it up. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Uh, a yoke uh, of iron. That's what we had on our necks when we was getting on them slave ships. They still right. put them yokes of iron on our people's face. Right, and they got us in the chain game. In the joint, in the uh, black and white suits or the orange jumpsuit. Chain game with the yokes of iron around our necks, wrists, ankles. Go ahead. Until he have destroyed thee. Until what? Until, Until he, he have destroyed, destroyed thee. He destroyed us to the point we don't know who we are now. Now we out here thinking we African American. We can shop and do whatever. Go we'll shop with the enemy and turn our backs on our own people. Destroy us. We hate each other but love them. If they standing on the sidewalk, we'll walk way the hell across the street just to avoid them. But if it's us standing here teaching, they'll try to walk their head right through us. No respect for their own people. Destroy. Go ahead. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flies. Now, this is going into another subject, but it's still a curse nonetheless. Now, what people represent themselves as an eagle? As an eagle? As an eagle. Is it eager? Yeah, eagle. Eagle. The bird. The eagle. Oh, eagle. Yeah. What nation represent themselves as an eagle? America, right. they eat every effect. Look at this sign here. Look at this right here. Yeah. Look at this sign right here. The evil is always being represented to us as a nation as an oppressive person or a nation. Everybody who had us in captivity always had an evil to represent them. So even the Egyptians had an evil. Damn, uh, Persian bees. Uh, the Greeks, the Romans, they all had an eagle to represent them. Right. Even the Germans, the Nazis, they had an eagle. And what was the first thing they said when they said they went to the moon? What was the phrase that they said? The eagle has an eagle. Why they didn't say hawk? Why they didn't say buck? Right. Why they didn't say the owl? Right. They said the eagle. They always represent themselves as the eagle. You know what I'm saying? And they put the eagle in our face all the time. Where is that? Post office. Yeah. IRS. Right. Every branch of the military, they got an eagle, eagle. to represent themselves. Right. You know what I'm saying? What's, what's on the, uh, behind the president? Big ass eagle. You know what I'm saying? Everything is represented by an eagle. What's the nation's bird? The eagle. The eagle. What's on the back of the quarter? The eagle. The eagle. What's on the back of the dollar? The eagle. Let's go to Obadiah 1 and 4. The evil. The people that have us in captivity, have had us in captivity, throughout history, have always labeled themselves as the evil. Right. And that's one of them breadcrumbs that we were talking about last night, that the Lord laid out for the children of Israel to pick up and... The hell? 
I got to look back in history and see who the hell represented themselves as evil. The Spaniards, they represented themselves as evil. So when our people say, oh, it's just the black folks that went into captivity, well, what do the so-called Mexican folks got on their flag? Or evil. Who ruling over them? The Spaniards, conquistadors, who have represented themselves as evil. Bring that out of Obadiah. Look over there. Chapter 1, verse 4. Uh -huh. Though thou exalt thyself uh -huh. as the eagle, say what? Though, though thou, thou exalt thyself as the eagle, eagle, you represent yourself as the eagle. Go ahead. And though thou set thy nest among the stars, the satellites, they trying to go in their spaceships, mm -hmm. the airplanes, uh, space stations, they set their nest among the stars. Go ahead. Then will I bring thee down. Lord said what? This will I bring thee down. Even though you up high, you thinking you're doing something, I'm going to bring you down. Go ahead. Saith the Lord. Saith who? Saith the, the Lord. Lord. This ain't our word. This is scripture. They fail to read over these things. They fail to recognize what's actually in the scripture. And that's another breadcrumb to let us know who was who. The black man, the so-called Hispanic man, ain't never said he went to the moon. He ain't never said he went into outer space. Every time we get on one of the ships, somehow it just magically explodes. Well, well. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They don't want us up there. But we're going to tell the truth. Ain't nothing up there. Mm. You know? Well, it is some up there, but they can't get out. Right. You know? That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. We go up there, we see, hey, we got we to gotta spill the beans. Blow that ship up every time one of them get on them. But we got to say we let them try. Right. That's it's part okay. of that, uh, they call it affirmative action. Be a token black. Be a part of your TV shows or your space program, or even on your sports team. You got to let them play so they can suffer peacefully. Thinking they being able to live in this society just like us. We give them what you call it, uh, the illusion of inclusion. Right, correct. We let them think that they're doing something. Think that they a part of something. Right. Let them be in the space program. We actually trying to leave here because we know we doomed them. Right. That's right. But well, right. if we let them tag along, they'll they'll be right with us. Right. They won't speak against them. Right. See that? That's how they do. Whenever they try to give us something, it's always a hidden agenda. Right. They never give us anything for our benefit. They say, hey, look, we give you part of, we give you uh give you his weed, fifty percent off. Sisters think, hey, that's a good deal right there. Nah, they telling you to hate yourself, kill yourself. But I get to you try to steal from me, we jump on you, man, you steal it, we beat your ass in front of everybody, you boycott it, or then you come out with a sign and say 50% off, you sit them right back in the damn store, buying the thing that they thought was a benefit, right? and they sitting in there laughing, ha 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 ha, I got them again, look how stupid they are, right? hey, get something back in the seat, Why you don't hear 
do that on a, a daily basis. Why we ain't talking about that as a people? See that? Because these people, the people that represent themselves as eagles, to make sure that we don't talk about it. They put sports on TV so we stay glued to the tool. Watching sports. Yeah. What has sports ever done for us? You get a few that come out of the hood and make you make a couple million dollars. Why they ain't ever putting that money back? Build the community. They take and make charity. that you see up here right here, we pissed off at this. Yeah. Y'all should too. Why? Because that's destroying our community. They put somebody like LeBron, Michael Jordan on the camera and promote him. And everything that he say, he represent black. Yeah. He's our leader now. You know, whatever LeBron say. Yeah. LeBron came up in a household where his father wasn't there. He trying his best to be a father right now, but he's still misleading his people. Yeah. Perfect example is his son, uh, is on TV playing for uh, Sierra Canyon, some school, big name school. His son on TV all the time. But when his son had to go to prom, who did he have on his arm? They hold it on. And a white girl on his arm. Yeah. Why is that? Your mama right there. Why would you go put a, a eater mic on your arm? That. See that? Give me that way. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 7. Uh -huh. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. Make us mad. Oppression, that's oppression. This is why they just move this man and go seek it for individuals like this. Just in case y'all don't know, they go looking for people who in the room who fit a certain narrative to put them on a platform so they can manipulate everything that they do. Give them a bunch of money and say, do what I tell you to do. Yeah. That's why they can't speak out against the atrocities that's going on. But when they do say something, they're very crafty with their words. Yeah. You know, they speak so they don't get reprimanded behind them. Yeah. Read that again. Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 7. Uh -huh. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, mm -hmm. and a gift destroyeth the heart. And a gift destroyeth the heart. A gift. Who they are advancement money. You're gonna be a rapper, right? Here goes your advancement money. Go out, you get that ten, twenty thousand dollars. Think they gonna say something when it comes to police brutality? Think they gonna say something when they know that these record executives are destroying our people, only promoting a certain content? Uh, 
Genesis chapter 6, verse 5. Uh-huh. And God saw oh, that the wickedness hey, of you man. Find a car right quick before you leave. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was what the what? The what? And that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart, the thoughts of his heart, was only evil continually. Was only evil continually. And what? Is that it? Right? That's why the Most High wanted to flood the earth. What? You said you're coming out. You said, hold on, I missed it. You said that's how what happened. Read it one more time. Book of Genesis chapter six, verse five. Uh huh. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, mm-hmm. and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart, the thoughts of what? The thoughts, thoughts of, of his, his heart, heart uh-huh. were uh-huh. was only evil continually. Then you know what? If the heart is what? The mind, the mind. So today you learn something about the mind, and I hope and pray that you learn a lot today from all that was going on. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So. What we gotta do with Israelites, bro? Keep the commandments. How right. do we repent? Keep the commandments. <laughs> How we get out of this hell hole? Keep the commandments. All the way.